Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, I'm getting my voice back, or almost got it back. It doesn't fade in and out like it used to, so now you can listen to me. Yes, yes, yes. How you doing? I'm feeling so much better. Of course, I still get tired. I'm doing a little bit each day until I build up my stamina, you know. So this afternoon, I think I might even walk up to the second floor. Well, I'll take the elevator to the second floor and walk down the hall and visit with Joan this afternoon. Well, it is afternoon. It's like 2 o'clock. It's taken me this long to kind of get organized. So anyway, I've been very successful in getting stuff done. And what I'd like to start out with is first of all I'm doing like I said I'm doing much much better I finished all my medications uh, a little bit of drainage you know that kind of stuff with the weather uh, right now we've got cloudy skies and the wind is just blowing like crazy in fact the other day I was looking out this window and all of a sudden I said there's something you know how you look out a window and all of a sudden, the scenery's changed a little bit. And I finally, and I looked, and I said, oh, my gosh, there's the cross of Jesus. And I thought, oh, what in the world is going on? So I looked out, and I thought, oh, my gosh, there was this huge tree, and there was a branch that had grown off of this huge stem, which I would say is probably half a mile up the up in the air there. I mean, it's huge, huge. And I guess doing some wind storms or something in the last couple, in the last week or so, the limb broke off. So now it's laying on these bushes and it's in a cross. And what is funny is that Joan dropped by and she said, did you see the cross of Jesus out the window? And I said, yes, I did. <laughs> she goes, you really did? I said, yeah, I noticed it yesterday. So it's just really weird, really, really weird. So anyway, I thought that was interesting because I haven't been out of my house. So I have to kind of look out behind me is there's a river behind or canal or canal to the river or whatever. And uh, so, um, you know, we just have these woods back there. And it's kind of nice because there's no buildings or, you know, cars and stuff like that. So anyway, that's that's my story. So anyway, I've been busy. And just to let everybody know, let's start out right. I'm, this is basically more or less on Boggy Creek Blankets. This is the Boggy Gals the boggy babes and you're probably thinking why am I starting early well I am doing just to let you know I'm doing six inch squares that you guys are donating to me and I'm making blankets out of them for three special holidays which is Christmas St. Patrick's Day and Halloween well while you guys were busy and I was recuperating, I was able to make some more blankets. And I want to show you because I am so thrilled with what you guys have sent me and what I have put together that I'm just beside myself. Now, I'm keeping these blankets. They're six inches. And I'm keeping them six times five across, which is 30, because the blanket should be 30. Now, this is just putting them together, right? Uh, 30 by 40 and then 40 by 50. So I'm doing them five across, which is 30, seven down, which is 35. That's not quite 40, is it? No, seven six times seven is 42. <laughs> so I'm right at the edge. But, it, but then I put, you know, I'm putting a border on them and putting them together and all that good stuff. I haven't actually measured them, but this is what I'm making. So anyway, I wanted I I did get some more. I got some more squares in. 
I got some from Roxanne, Roxana, Roxana, and she's from Nova Scotia. Now, I kind of mixed these up because I was working with them. So there are a few of them that are missing. And then the other box is from Shirley Robinson. So, and they sent me some ice cards and notes and isn't that, this is from Roxanne. Isn't that cute? And she sent, uh, let's see if it has in here. I don't know how many she sent. But anyway, um, here's some that I just, let me pull all these out and I'll show you. Some are from Roxanne and some are from Shirley. Oops, excuse me. And I did pull some out to complete one of my blankets. So I did pull one that has these colors in it to go in my blanket. And then we got, this is for Christmas, and that's a reindeer. Then we got a solid green, a red, sparkles. Then we have white and yellow, yellow and green. That looks like St. Patrick's Day to me. Green and yellow. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. And solid green. And then look, I got a four leaf clover. Love it. And some Christmas ones. There are two of these. Aren't they pretty? And another Christmas. And a red one. Thank you so much. I am just overjoyed. You guys don't know how much I love you. And it's just. I had so much fun putting these together. And you're probably saying, Billy, why are you putting these together so early? And I'll tell you why. I know you want to hear the answer, right? Well, um, as you know, Nancy lives like uh, four hours from me, three and a half to four hours from me. And I know that my road trips are going to be few and far between, probably more far than few. Does that make sense? Anyway, um, I she will be coming here in October. So I figure whatever that you guys can send me that I can put together between now and October, I will give to her to take back with her. I know, isn't that neat strategy on my part? I might be getting old, but I'm still smart. I'm a wise old owl. So um, I couldn't afford to send these, but I can afford to take them over to the house that we're going to be staying in, in Sarasota. And um, she could take them back with her. So I'm just real, real excited. Now let me, I think I probably showed you some of these, but let me show you. And are you ready? Because what you've sent me is beautiful. Just beautiful. So remember the three holidays. And my email, ad, I mean my mailing address is in the description below. And they're six inches. I don't know if I have that in there or not, but I will I will try to remember to do that. <laughs> Sometimes I get frustrated because when I go to download, something happens, and then you have to go back. So then I forget to do things. So anyway, oh, it feels good to get my voice back. I'm drinking some ginger ale. Mmm. I'm still trying to drink lots of liquids. But first of all, I got to show you. Oh, I got to show you my little purchase here. Um, I get a lot of questions that people like like the things that I wear. Well, I wear these little loungers or moo-moos, whatever you want to call them. And um, for you ladies that sit around a lot or at home all day and you want to wear something comfortable, these are fantastic. You throw them in the wash, you hang them up, and, you know, ready to go. And sometimes when I want something new, I'll bring out some, you know, material and kind of, you know, whip something up. But it's so much easier when when these, this one that I'm wearing now, I purchased last week, and it was on sale for 20 bucks. I think I got two. I'm not sure, but I think I got two. But this one came the other day. So I just wanted to show you, and 
I get the long ones because I have my knees are really all scarred up from, you know, knee replacements and stuff. So I kind of wear, and sometimes I'll just throw um, a bra on and uh, check and take these and wear them wherever. You know, I, I wore my green one the other day when I went to the doctor's. I didn't feel like getting dressed. I didn't even put a bra on for that because it's Saturday and I didn't think anybody would be there. And I was right. There was only the doctor and nurse and one other person there, some old lady. Well, elder, older than I am. So anyway, I wanted to show you. I just put it on so that I can show you guys. Oops. As gently as I can. But they're the bib type, as you can see. They have pockets. And, you know, they're kind of roomy in the back. They have a little pleats at the top. You just throw them in the washer, put them in the dryer, and then hang them up. And, of course, orange was my favorite color. There was only certain colors that were available. And just so happened, they had my colors available. So while I'm standing up, um, I get them on sale. They're not worth the 50 or $60 that they want. Get them when you see them on sale. And that's just my advice. Okay, so I think... Let's, we're going to put the, I think you've seen this one. I made this one some time ago, and I showed you this one. Okay, this is multi, all different things. This is a combination of squares that you guys sent and the ones um, that I got that I had hanging around. Some I made, too. So, this is one. This, these are all Boggy Creek um Blankets. Okay, so that's one. Number two are ones that some squares that uh, was sent to me, and I put this one together. Hold this one out. So, yeah, no, I, there's a pink one in there, isn't there? But look at that. That's all right. But yeah, so we have that one. And these are all squares that you guys sent. And uh, she said, see what you can do with them. And I did. So I just made a body blanket. That's another one. That's two. And then this one is another one of miscellaneous um, squares that was sent and that I pulled all different colors. I just try to get them all in there. Aren't they cool? So that's another one. Okay. Now, that's three. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is Halloween. I had enough to put a Halloween one together. Here we go. So here's the Halloween one. Wait a minute. Let's turn it around. So we get, try to get all the stuff going. Like, see the, see the black cat, the owl, the pumpkin. If you made these, and what I did was, I go, okay, what color can I put on here to make them pop? I wasn't gonna use white. That's not Halloweeny. So I got a, like a light purple. I guess you would call it. Because purple is one of the colors. There's the witch, witch's hat here. Okay. And there's pumpkin. Candy corn. The spider web. And down there is... Is that a ghost? Oh, it's on this side. And there's the ghost. So we got one... Um, we got one um, Halloween one put together. So, I was so excited. Yes, one Halloween together. I'm pleased with it. I like the color. I went around. Let me just show you. I went around and I did the, uh, you know, the, what do you call it? Um, crush, the, this around it. Then I went back the second row and I put a front post in the two side ones, 
and then a regular um, double crochet front post on each side of the uh, three crochet uh, three stitches and then this one is a half double so and it gave it a kind of an interesting look didn't it yes I like just making them up as I go so the Halloween one made. Thank y'all so much. Now, this one. I love this one. It's a Christmas one. I had enough to do a Christmas one. Okay, I get this right. Look at this one. This is Christmas. There's a Christmas tree, the Christmas hat, the snowman, Rudolph the, Ro Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Candy cane um, ornament, and this this one here I made. It was it's a little wreath, and then we got the uh, gingerbread man and the Christmas tree and the cookie on the end here. And I put this in white because it really makes the reds and the greens pop, doesn't it? And then the, the uh, I went around and I did a half double crochet. And then the second row, I did a little uh, four, I think it's four, a uh, little ball. And then a half double crochet, skipped a couple or skipped one. I think I skipped one on all of these. And then, of course, in the, then I did two puffs in there. So it came out nice. Yeah, it was just something I came up with. But didn't it come out nice? I'm so excited. I love it. I love it. And the the little boggles on the side gets, kind of gives it more of a Christmas lighty uh, look. I just loved it. I just love doing this. And I love just designing it with all the squares you send. And all of them have been wonderful. There has been a couple that I had to take one row out because it was one row too big. But I was able to save them. And they're on here or in here. So we now have one, two, three, four. I've got five blankets ready for Boggy Creek. And it's all because of you. And I know everybody says, well, who's Boggy Creek? Well, if you go on... Nancy, oh, my seat just went. <laughs> if you go to, um, she's got yarn two or Charm Grammy or Lee Linan uh, of Nina's Knots, you will find all the information. We all advertise it all the time. It is such a pleasure doing this, and I'm enjoying this so much. I enjoy getting your packages and all the beautiful squares. And putting them together, I think I'm almost ready to get a um, St. Patrick's Day uh, put together. I do need some St. Patrick's Day um, squares. So um, put your little mind to work, girls. And uh, But now that I'll need Christmas and, uh, you know, uh, Halloween. So I use them all. <laughs> I got a few of the Christmas ones left. But yeah, so we've gotten, uh, I've gotten quite a few blankets done while I've been sick. And it was perfect because I didn't want to think. I didn't want to count. I didn't want to have to worry about making mistakes. This way, I, I think I did a whole border and never even looked at it. I mean, I just, I was watching the show on TV and it was one of those thrillers, you know. Me and I'm just going a mile a minute. <laughs> And I looked down, I went, oh, my gosh, I'm almost finished. I didn't even look at it. I mean, I just do everything by feel. And, um, but it was just, it was just amazing. Amazing. Especially when you do a half double crochet, it's so easy. Let me have a little, little. So, I looked, I have a, um, like a, um. Every morning I check and they post, um, oh, it's pouring down rain now. <laughs> Good day for crocheting, yeah, baby. 
so anyway, um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, it's just it's just so much fun working with your squares. So please keep them coming. I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm putting them all into the blanket. These kids are gonna be so excited. I'm trying to make them just as colorful as I can. Um, yeah. So, and I'm not going to sit and hold them and wait to put, I'm going to put a blank as I get 50, 60, whatever I need, I'm going to put them together. I mean, that's, that way we keep, we keep this machine going. <laughs> right? Right. Now that I've run out of squares, I hope, oh, anyway, oh, I know what I was saying about the, the post office. Well, I have this thing where I sign up where you can, you'll see what you're going to get in the mail the next day or the, or if you've got packages coming and all that stuff. Well, I looked today and I went, oh my gosh, I've got like five, six, seven packages coming between Friday and Saturday. What's today? Thursday? Yeah, Friday and Saturday. And I thought, oh my God, I'm so excited. So, and, and you, at this point, you can send as many as you want. And if I feel like that it's, I'm overwhelmed, I'll let you know. But I don't think so. I've kept I kept a tub in there full of, of um, squares for years now, and I used them in putting these blankets together. So, and there were some that I had to add to, or just you know, or 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 debunk, <laughs> or debunk some. But uh, yeah, I think the the acrylic is perfect, it, it, and the four is just you know. It's not flimsy. It's just it's just perfect. Make excellent blankets because these kids are gonna have these blankets to take home, and if they get sick on them or whatever, you can throw them in the wash. You don't have to worry about them coming apart. But please be sure you tie in your ends really good. If you don't like sewing your ends in, put double knots in them. I've got a blanket in there that I've had for probably 40, 50 years. And I didn't weave in ends. I used knots, just little knots, and then cut the thread. And it's still together. So, you know, there's no rule on, there's no rules on, on crocheting. You do what you feel like is the best. And even now, the other day, I think um, on the Halloween one I found, someone hadn't tied in their ends. And I only had a little piece left. But I took that little piece with another piece of yarn, and I sat there and I tied that sucker one way and then the other way and then double tied it and then I snipped it and it's going to be fine, just fine. Don't even worry about it. That's no protocol, no protocol. All I care about is if they're six inches. Now, if they're six and a half, take a row off. If you've got a double crochet and it's six and a half, take it off and do a half double crochet. That'll get you up to six inches. But the six inches works out great, as you can see. I love the six inches. That is super. Now, Lynn, Lynn Ann from Nina's Knots is also continuing to, um, she's going to be uh, collecting uh, squares also. And her protocol you can find on her channel. And I think she wants fun colors, fun patterns, you know, that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. She'll give you the lowdown on that as as the time nears, probably in August or so. So um, I know she still has lots and lots of squares that she could probably put together for the next year. I've asked her to send me some, but she hasn't yet. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, she might bring me some in October and I could put some more together. So anyway, it's just been so much fun. You guys are doing great. And it gives you a chance to kind of do something than just a plain old square. You could make a little decal and stick it on there. You know, a little witch, a little spider, a little candy corn, a little tree, a little wreath, all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I make, I'm making a few myself as we go along. And I'm trying to use up, you know, miscellaneous green and uh, red and, you know, colors like that. 
white. I, I used a lot of white on the Christmas one. So that was good. That was good. So, and that was an old white one that I've had. I think it was Red Heart when they used to sell it for two ninety nine or a dollar ninety nine, and it had eight hundred thousand yards in it. I'm serious. I am serious. I am serious. It was really, really old. But it doesn't go bad. It doesn't go bad. So we keep it going. Mm. Now, for the sec, I got everything mailed this past week. That's the one thing I did accomplish. So if you haven't got your stuff now, you should be getting it tomorrow or that. I think most of them were three days, so it's good. Uh, I still have this sweater jacket here. It has pockets if anyone's interested. And I have a couple purses there, but I'll show those some other time. Okay, now I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I, you know, work on. Well, let me show you one completed. I know I showed this on my live. I think. I can't remember. And I didn't bring the... Um, Oh, that's right. This pattern, now let me tell you what happened. This pattern I saw, I have a, a reader, you know, one of those fire readers. Is that what they're called? Amazon fire readers. Anyway, I have it on, I had, <coughs> I was on YouTube on the fire reader and I saw this pattern. It wasn't in English there and you couldn't trans, I can't control anything there when I'm on there. So anyway, so I followed her her fingers and what she did, and I came up with this little this little crop top. I just did a little bit the bottom. I did a little different than she did. Um, she did full sleeves. I just did little little cute little little. Is that? Did I see a? I did. I look at that. Now that's not like me never leave anything floating. But I got that one. I'll get rid of it. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Just a cute, it's cotton. It's, um, in fact, it's, um, I believe it's cotton. No, I love cotton. I believe it's cotton, but I, it's cotton. And it's 100% cotton. It's a four. And this is what I had left. So whoever wants it, I can uh, send the rest of that with it. And if you wanted to add on to the bottom, you can very easily. Or to the, but anyway, I just thought it was cute. And I'd had enough. I didn't want to do any more on it. So, but anyway, if you're interested, just let me know. The color here, I think it's called coral. Yes, it's called coral, which is one of my favorite. As you can see, orange and coral, anything in that um, color palette. So, we got that, and that's completed. That's done. Then I was working on, is that the needle for that one? Could be. I was working on a pattern um, of Angelus. Now, oh, my nose is itching. I'm sorry. What does that mean? Somebody's coming to visit? What does that mean? Come into money? No, I don't think that's it. Anyway, I've been working on this pattern of Angelus. Now, mine is done with this. It's a DK, I think. It's a three. It's a, it's a thin, kind of a thin, thick, thin, thick kind of DK yarn. And I took it when I went to the clinic, and I haven't worked on it since. I just pulled it out. I might work on it a little bit. But anyway, this is her pattern. Her pattern, and it's so cute. I love this. This um, it's called yarn art ambiance, and it's wool and acrylic, and it does get hot to work with for me anyway. Um, let's see, it's made in Turkey. It has hundred grams, but it has here two hundred seventy three thousand. 40 yards. Maybe that's 273 yards, point forty or something. But anyway, I had like four or five of these. So I figured I'd make I'd make 
make it out of that. So, I mean, it's a very uh, uh, easy pattern to follow. Um, and you can kind of just gauge it. She didn't put stitch count, but it, it seems to turn out fine. Um, I have no problems with it. Um, I just do a little measuring like so. And if it, if it's even, then it's good for me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, she's having this, she's going to have this pattern out very soon. And I went through and did a quickie. And I'm going to type this up where I haven't done that yet. I guess I should do that. Uh, um, I just did. I did it like this for me. Because that, that, especially when you're repeating rows. And she she does it kind of in longhand. So that it's easier for her. So like with any pattern... You have to find what's the easiest for you, and everybody's different. Some people don't read patterns. Some people can read some patterns and not others. Some people just like the straight skinny. You know, you you crochet two, you single crochet three, you skip four, you do this, you do that. That's the way I am. Just give it to me straight, okay? So anyway, so this is what I've been working on for Angela. And I love the colors in here. And hopefully um, I'll get this finished very soon. I like it. Okay. Now, this is um, a, this is teal. And this is a sweater that I was doing for Zen and Rogers, one that she's, I think the pattern is out now. And, um, oops, there's a needle. But anyway, I have, I'm doing the larger size. I think the orange just went on the floor. So I've done the right side. And then there's the shoulder where that is. That's the right side. And now I'm on the left side. So all I have to do is finish the left, do the sleeve, go do the bottom in the around and all that good stuff. But this is a large, large size. And I got the a plenty of yarn to do it because I you know, everybody was doing all these thin sizes and nobody was doing the larger size. So I said, Well, I'll do the larger size. And if you can see, it's a beautiful pattern. And it's a repeat, you know, like a two, three. It's not bad. You just got to make sure you get your little little shells or little puffs in the right puffy place. So, yes, I've been working on that. I was going to work on that today. Now, I, I have trouble working when it's hot. Excuse me. Let me get this yarn. Or else I'll stop all over it. So that's, those are the projects. And then I'm working on my poncho. And uh, I have, anyway, I think I told you, that, you know, that I put a lifeline in three or four times. Well, with a clear head and everything now, I think I can sit down, pull it, go back to the beginning stitches of that side that I had pushed aside to, I just wished I had, I wished I had done both same time that was and I kept saying that when I did it too because I knew there's something about when you switch when you have two lot when you have two and you, one is a little off than the other but it gives you the you know the pattern I, I mess up I will get it if it kills me hmm so anyway, I just have to review the pattern and then get back to it. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it straight now. So let's see. I want to thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for the ones that have sent me get well cards. I, I am getting well. I am something else. I found something. I don't think there's anything else I was going to talk to you about. Like I don't know if I can find this again. 
you know how you run across something. You know, it just kind of hits home or, you know. And you think, oh, gosh, i got to remember to, to, you know, to repeat that, to, to share it. Not repeat it, but share it. And then sometime after you, after you've seen it, it goes away. But I want to show everybody. And um, let me put it on there and said, see if I can find it. Oh, here. When somebody says they shared a link, aha, here it is. Okay. This is what I'm going to end this video with. <laughs> It's 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 a little poem for seniors. So true it hurts. So um anyway, I thought I would read it to you. Some of you don't have Facebook and this is where I found it. It's under cranky old lady and I like cranky old lady cuz I'm a cranky old lady sometimes. Especially when I want especially when somebody wants me to do something that I don't want to do cuz I get cranky. Okay. A little poem for seniors, so true it hurts. Another year has passed, and we're all a little older. And that's true. Last summer felt hotter. That is very true. And winter seemed much colder. Now that is true. There was a time not long ago when life was quite a blast. Now I fully understand about living in the past. We used to go to weddings, football games, and lunches. Oh, boy, did we ever. Now we go to funeral homes after funeral home brunches and after funeral home brunches. We used to go out dining and couldn't get our fill. Now we ask for doggy bags, come home and take a pill. Isn't that the truth? We used to often travel to places near and far. Oh, yeah, I love those travel days. Now we get sore asses from riding in the car. Now, ain't that the truth? We used to go to nightclubs and drink a little booze. Oh, my gosh. Now we stay home at night and watch the evening news. <laughs> Isn't that? Uh, that, my friend, is how life is. And now my tale is told. So enjoy each day and live it up before you're too damned old. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's old cranky lady. Cranky old lady. Well, I just love that. I just really love that. You won't believe this. But when I posted this, um, I got a message. <laughs> you, you guys won't believe this, but I got to show you anyway. What does it say right there? It says, Kevin Costner, can I ask you something? <laughs> now, you know that's not Kevin Costner. You know it. I know it. You know it. Can I ask you something? Sure. Ask me something. Let me let me see. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Let's go. Say sure. Now let's see what happens. But it's his picture. But you anybody can take his picture, right? I mean, I don't fall for that stuff. But I wrote sure. Let's hear. We'll we'll see what happens. But I do. I love this. It's just. It just gets so funny. And I, oh, these people, these dudes that don't have anything else but to pick on old ladies. You know, can I be your friend? Here's the guy that wants to be my friend. I just delete. Here's another guy that wants to be my friend. Let's see. Any other dude want to be my friend? Now, who wants to be friends with an 80-year-old woman? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, there's Taylor Smith. Taylor Swift. Whatever her name is. Okay. So I will let you know in the next episode if I hear from Kevin Costner. Cost. Did you see how it said cost? Cost. How do you spell his name anyway? 
I don't think that's spelled right. That's why you, you got to investigate this stuff. So let's go. Let's look up Kevin. Listen. No, that's the way you spell it. C-O-S-T-N-E-R. Costner. Um, whenever you see something stupid like this, it, Google. Google. If you don't know something, Google it. If you have any questions about something, Google it. Now, I'm trying to think if I've had questions. Um, I did have a question about something. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if I can find it now or not. But I have YouTube Studio on my phone. And I can go on and see comments. Um, right now it's showing three years ago because they're so inept that they don't know how to keep their um, keep their stuff organized. See, and I can't I can't get anything now. Once you put a heart, you know they they you get comments and then you can put a heart beside it to let people know to let the person know that you've read it. Uh, sometimes you get questions and I don't put a heart because then I lose it. And it goes into whatever video that that comment came off of. So sometimes I have to do, I, I don't want to do the research. Like now, I I would have to go back to every comment to find out who sent that question. So most of the time, I will leave it blank. And sometimes I mess up and I'll put a heart there before I realize, you know, and once I hit that, hit enter, that's, you know, it's gone into video land. But uh, if I go on YouTube on my computer, I can find it much faster and better than I can on the this phone. So anyway, oh, now, how, how many minutes? 42 minutes. Oh, okay. Just a couple more minutes. Doing my incarceration at, of being ill... Uh, someone sent me a um, to go uh, asking me to play uh, Monopoly Go on my computer. So I downloaded. I found out all these girls in 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 Zoom were playing it, and other people that I you know I don't know what if they've changed their names. There's a few names that I recognize. Some I don't. Well, I've been I've been racking up. Real estate, baby. Backing up real estate. <laughs> I've so enjoyed this game. And every now and then I'll just stop. And it's um, it's called Monopoly, Monopoly Go. And um, <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. It's called Monopoly Go. It doesn't cost anything to download it. See? And, you, you know, if you want some um, some dice or whatever, you, you pay so much for, for whatever you want. But, of course, I, you know, I did buy a couple. But most of the time, I, I rack up enough money that I can, um, I get enough to scrabble through. But it's been so much fun just... Right now I'm building, um, I'm building, and I haven't got much longer. How much? I got 25 minutes left to to get a grand prize for building these fountains, but I'm not going to make it. I've got one that's not even hardly even started. So anyway, it's fun. It's it's like playing Monopoly, but I haven't figured it all out yet. But certain things you can do that I help help you get more die more die to play with and all that good stuff. And I'm building I'm building a, my own little empire here. And I only have uh, one, two, three, four more, but uh, a lot of money. I'm up in the high, high stuff. In fact, I get caught in jail. I get thrown in jail so much that it's bankrupted me. <laughs> I get thrown in jail all the time. It's driving me nuts. I think the rain has stopped. I was just sprinkling a little bit. But that, it, 
that little bit that it just rained, you can see where it's made a puddle out there. That's how we have no drainage in Florida. Well, it's because we're below sea level and all that good stuff. But, yeah, no drainage. All right, well, I'm going to say goodbye, and then I'll start downloading this. And if you have any questions, please send them to me. Maybe I should start writing them down and then verbally. It's easier for my hair is really needs a haircut. I need a haircut. Have you noticed all the short haircuts going on around? It's so nice. I like the short haircuts. It's um, especially when you reach a certain age. I think it's nice to have a nice, um, a nice kufur, kufur, a nice style. Um, so uh, crochet A, Sandy, she had her hair cut. I love it. I think it's very flattering. Um, and it, it even makes her look younger. I like it a lot. And some girls, uh, we have Lynn, her hair, uh, Lynette from Charm Grammy had her hair. It looks lovely, very neat, very pretty. Uh, she has beautiful, this whitish, beautiful colored hair. I just, mine's like dirty crap, dirty dirt. I would love to have beautiful white hair like that. Oh, geez. Unbelievable. But it's dirty. It's darker than it's ever been. <laughs> what can I say? All right, everybody, let's get crocheting. Get those squares out. If you need any help with anything, let me know. Um, we'll see if we can get some more blankets made. It didn't take long to get these two made. I mean, to get the squares in, to get them made. So that's, I'm very, very excited. I really am. And I've enjoyed putting these two together. Well, all five of them are that we have ready. I've enjoyed making, putting them together. So mm, have a great weekend. Today is Thursday. Have a great weekend. And um, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye, everybody.